is home, and we'll see the third period coming up in just a matter of moments. As a safety issue and courtesy to you, our fellow fans, please keep the aisles clear during gameplay and wait for a break in the action to leave or return to the game. Hope you're having a great night. Two periods down, one more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. They've dropped the puck here in the third, and it's been a blowout thus far. Let's see if there's any sort of response. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Rangers haven't had any possession time, James, and as a result, they haven't created any offense. Their opponent has really taken it to them, really worn them down, put them on their heels, and they spend a lot of time in their own zone. The Avs have been the busier team offensively, and as a result, they lead it big time here in this third. Colorado's got it in the offensive zone. Denies the chance by blocking it. Here's a shot, and he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Granted, it's done it to the side. still in the lead, so they got to free themselves up a little bit and find the netting. The Avs cross the line and gain the zone. New York's got control of it now from their own end. Slides it on over to Wheeler. And now he moves it to Sabinajad. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Makes a move in front. Denies him in close. Goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defense is creased by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. This is such a high-energy shift, and it's a reason why they have sustained pressure in the offensive zone. Their opponent back on their heels, looking real tired now. Takes a shot, and there's another stop! Oh, a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. And sure, listen to these fans here. They are getting loud. Some of them are getting on their feet. Plotting that save we saw. James, I think it's the appreciation for the desperation save to complete the will to keep that puck out of the net, and they're really showing him the love. And a smart hits up play to put that away by Nachuskin. The Avalanche have it now. How did he stop that one? And this is a dialed in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Colorado's got it from behind the net. From the top of the offensive zone here. Scores! Well, that's number two, Pounder. Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. You gotta believe he's gotta be looking for the hat. I hear coaches preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can the puck and he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly he tries to make himself as big as possible but he can't catch up to the puck and they've got the puck after that neutral zone face up picked up along the boards by Manson drives it to the crease we got a whistle as the puck's frozen Colorado's manufactured plenty of offense tonight, and they lead here late in this third period. And they win the draw on their own end. Kruva's lugging the puck. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Quick feed to VC. There's a shot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Georgiev. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Takes it to the net! Oh, spectacular save right there! Wow! Unbelievable! I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Taves carries the puck in his own zone. The Avs take it along the wall. He
it is the best, right, James? I mean, such a difficult trophy to win, and it's a childhood dream, and you can see them all in celebration right now. It's a cumulative effort, especially such a grind to be able to get here. The sacrifices, as you said earlier, blood, sweat, tears. They're here, they're hoisting the cup, a moment they'll never forget. The moment of truth has arrived. Lord Stanley is about to be handed out. Ah, oh, so much fun. You can feel and sense the dream is alive. It is right there. And I'm really curious to see who hoists it over their head first, James. And here he comes, the captain of the squad. And when you talk about ultimate leaders in sports, the amount of times he wins, Cheryl, he might be the epitome of leader. Well, I would say so. I mean, hoisting the cup multiple times, it's unbelievable. You know you have to have skill, but this is arguably the toughest trophy to win, and he just puts it on repeat. Well, a well-deserved Stanley Cup winner right here. What a performance when it came to finding the puck in the net. Well, you need players to find the back of the net if you want to win. You got to score goals, and that's exactly what he did. He led his team, and now he gets to hoist the cup. And it's the Conn Smythe winner's turn to get the cup. <laughs> No one's more deserving than him. I mean, he was unbelievable. I mean, the offensive production, everything that he did to contribute. Now, that's an individual award, the Conn Smythe Trophy. Now he hoists the cup. I don't even know if you can script it any better, James. There's a physical price to be paid to win the Stanley Cup. He certainly paid it. Well, he led his team in hits, and I mean, there's no question that the games get tighter and they get more physical. And the 